Hello everyone, welcome to some more horrific news. Right, it looks like we have some good news to report. The Exorcist Deceiver, removed from release calendar as David Gordon Green exits sequel. Could he be leaving horror? Could we be finally getting rid of him? Oh, what a numpty. Right, let's dive into this. This is obviously from Bloody Disgusting. I will share the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Director David Gordon Green's The Exorcist Believer was always supposed to be the first film in a planned trilogy from Blumhouse and Universal, part of a $400 million deal to bring the franchise back to life on the big screen. In fact, The Exorcist Deceiver had already been dated for release on April 18th, 2025, but it sounds like Universal is pumping the brakes. Could this actually be a good decision by Universal? Because when they get involved, oh, things go bad. But uh, yeah, 400 million for a start, ban that franchise, which had already been run under the ground. Check out the channel, obviously, I've done a deep dive into <laughs> the Exorcist uh, series. I will not watch this Believer one. After Halloween Kills, I refuse to watch anything by David Gordon Green. In fact, if I see his name in anything, I'm not watching it. End of story. There you go. So, THR reports this afternoon David Gordon Green will no longer be directing The Exorcist Deceiver and that Universal and Blumhouse are actively seeking a new director. According to the site, Gordon Green is exiting The Exorcist Deceiver as director because he's busy working on feature film Nutcrackers and TV series The Righteous Gemstones. Two things I do not care about, but if that's him leaving horror, if he's going away to do whatever he's going to do and I never hear his name again, I will be happy. Not that I'm bitter or anything, but this is the way he talks, his arrogance and just, you knew he was somebody that didn't have a love for the genre and he was just doing it to make his name. I've said this before about there's a lot of people come into the horror genre to make a first movie, hoping to go into bigger and better things. Like that disdain for the franchise, it just winds me up and he's somebody that's shown that disdain for it and here we go, it's shown with the box office returns of that movie, like it already hit five you know in horror fans crossover there's no such thing as just a fan of one franchise if that makes sense you're a horror fan you're a horror fan now you like some franchises you like others but there aren't exorcist fans and they'll watch nothing but exorcist there aren't scream fans who'll watch nothing but scream etc etc you have horror fans they have preference but once somebody shows they're a bad faith actor and the no love for the franchise it really translates and people just decide no thank you very much and it doesn't matter what i say the proof's in the pudding when it comes to the box office and when it comes to rentals, etc, etc. So I think uh, I think studios are starting to get a bit of a wake-up call from these sort of people and realising not to have them on board, but it can only be a good thing. Let's hope we're going to start seeing better movies. The problem here is that Believer got the reboot trilogy off to a shaky start, the film flopping with critics and failing to make a huge splash at the box office. Gordon Green's Halloween for Universal and Blumhouse back in 28 kicked that trilogy off on a much stronger note, the film making a ton of money in theatres and winning over fans and critics alike. Yeah, I liked the I liked Halloween. Wasn't too fussed in Halloween Kills. Halloween Ends was diabolical. Where does the franchise go from here? Will the original trilogy plans come crashing down now that Gordon Green has moved on from the director's chair? Stay tuned for more. It can only be better. But The Exorcist though, what a strange franchise the Tran reboot. The first film in the trilogy was released theatrically on October 13th, 2023 with Leslie Odom Jr. starring alongside and returning Ellen Burstyn from the original classic. In Believer, since the death of his pregnant wife in a Haitian uh, earthquake 12 years ago, Victor Fielding, Leslie Odom Jr. has raised their daughter Angela, uh, Lydia Jewett, on his own. But when Angela and her friend Catherine, Olivia Markham, disappear in the woods only to return three days later with no memory of what happened to them, it unleashes a chain of events that will force Victor to confront the dear of evil and, in his terror and desperation, seek out the only person alive who has witnessed anything like it before. The final moments of The Exorcist Believer brought Linda Blair's Regan McNeil back into the fold, seeming to suggest that the legacy character could return in future installments. And there you go, that is that article. Like I said, I'll link it in the description. I kind of feel like they're beating a dead horse with us. This might be one that'll be pushed back and pu- they don't want to say they've cancelled it, but they'll push it back and push it back until people forget about it. I, I honestly think that's the way it's going. But the spent so much money on ban the rights they have to do something but after that like i said i never even watched this so no opinion on it but it spoke for itself the fact nobody wanted to watch it but let me know what you think is this a good thing david gordon green moving on are you a massive fan are you disappointed and devastated that he is do you think the exorcist has a future be interested to hear your thoughts leave them in the comments and just leave me say until next time keep up to date with the channel do the happy clicky things and until next time keep it creepy keep it horrific